What's up everyone, this is The Obvious Joe, and today we're going to start a Let's Play of RimWorld. Now, I'm not a professional, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know every single thing about this game, but I have put in some time, I think I have like, like 100 hours or something like that, so, you know, I'm a little bit experienced, uh, like I said, don't know everything. I just want to play the game, have some fun, uh, put some content out for somebody to like, um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to create a new colony and we're gonna go from there and we're gonna try it and see what everybody thinks about it that's mostly what I'm here for have fun create content that someone might like uh, so yeah I think I'm gonna go with Lost Tribe which you start out with uh, five people uh, limited research technology I do have some mods too, I want to show that off. Just really simple mods, nothing, I don't even have a lot. <clears throat> Not a lot at all. Simple mods. But if you know of any good mods that you think will be beneficial, this is basically vanilla, but if you think of any mods that will be beneficial to the game, uh, I don't like to go crazy with mods too much. Not with everything. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. Let's get this to start. And I don't want some crazy style. I'm not going for losing is fun because, you know, losing isn't fun. I mean, it might be fun for you guys to see me get my butt kicked. But uh, I think generally we're going to just go for uh, Strive to Survive. Um, and Randy Random is pretty fun. Um, we can always change this stuff later on too. So if you want more of a challenge or if we want a different type of storyteller, then we can go for... Uh, one of the others. But for now, we're going to go with this. And obviously reload at any time. Because uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to beat this. Uh, I like to go with 100. I don't know. But I'm not going to. I'm going to go with 50. Uh, Dragon, that seems pretty cool. Uh, maybe we should do like... I don't know. Obvious gaming. Let's try out that. Let's see how that... That turns out. <clears throat> I think we're going to go with the temperate climate as well. Uh, maybe large hills. Um, something like that. Something like that. Okay. And I haven't played this game in a while. So I don't really... This is our world. This is the obvious gaming world. Half the planet is just water. No. Half the planet is... It's populated. I'm playing dumb over here. All right, so factions list. This is uh, all the bad guys, the good guys, neutral, so on and so forth. So generally, I like to be around um, the yellow guys. Yeah, I don't know. Generally, I like to be around somebody that I could trade with and go to for other things and stuff. Uh. Just looking for a nice area, somewhere with a temperate climate. Because I'm just going to go temperate. Um, like I said, not a professional. I'm not looking to break any records here. Be the best gaming man ever. Just trying to have fun. And we're just going to set up. This is basically just going to be a rundown of our setup for the for the Let's Play series. Um, and that's that. That's that. Man, do I want to be in the north? See, northern climate, if you turn this on, northern climate, average temperatures are different than the southern average temperatures. I mean, there's a shocker, right? All right, let's zoom in and check this stuff out. Let's, what do we want to be? <clears throat> let's be the eastern coast, right? Let's do eastern. East side. And let's go, uh, there's an enemy. There's... Yeah, this be good. Be good. And also the Royal DLC, don't really know a crazy amount about that. And by don't really know a crazy amount, I know close to nothing. So, well, I'm also looking for like some granite or marble area. Large hills with granite, marble, maybe even limestone. Give us the best, uh... Most useful materials, really, in my opinion. 
this one has a river going through it. Limestone, slate, sandstone. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It says limestone and marble. Average temperature of 67 degrees year-round. So I can grow year-round in this temperate area. Huh. That's interesting. It's not in a horrible spot. It's kind of close to a road. Asphalt road. Dirt road leads south. Southeast. Uh, I mean... It's not really close to anything, really, though. If I'm being honest. Obviously, I'm being honest. Why would I lie? I prefer East Coast. Why? Just because I picked East Coast. I don't. <clears throat> I'm just saying something. I'm just saying something to say something. Uh, what is green? Green is the Red Shrew Vazalo. They're a fierce tribe. Okay. And if I went in here, then I'd be landlocked. Or not landlocked. I'd be locked by um, these rivers. Hmm. I'm not crazy about this seat. Gotta tell ya. Gotta tell ya. Obvious gaming sucks. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's uh, put Dragon back in and see how that goes. Dragon. With an H, not with a G. O N. Generate. Let's see. Let's see if this is better. I'm in no rush. I'm not trying to, like, produce the most efficient. Uh,. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not, kind of, I'm not trying to start a new fad here or a new trend for people to follow in the community. If I do something wrong or something that I could, uh, something you think I can improve on, just tell me. The black triangle, that's interesting. That is interesting. What about this place? Limestone, sandstone, marble, mountainous. I prefer large hills. I like mountainous, but sometimes you can get really screwed on mountainous. Uh, I personally don't like being screwed by mountains. You know? Slate? I'm not a fan of slate either. I like the look of it, but it's not like the strongest. I guess what does it matter? Am I going to do the whole episode of me looking for a place to live? I mean, I guess I could. Here's one. That's limestone, granite, marble, average temperature 54 degrees. Do, 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 do. It's real close to them, though, and they won't like that. So, we are going to have to pick another place. Uh... And if this isn't your type of thing, feel free to skip ahead or or whatever. Get some more of the meat and potatoes of the game. But these types of games can be really slow startup. Uh, the beginning is kind of the most crucial. Well, if you ask me, anyways. This is a growing period of 40-60. This might be good. It might suck, too. You know, you never know. So I guess we'll just... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, did I lose that place? No, I didn't. It's right there. Whew. I want to increase the map a little bit. Maybe I'll go to large. No, I'm going to stay there. I'm going to stay here on medium. But I am going to increase it a little bit. All right, this is the probably the time. This is probably going to take the most amount of time, to be quite honest. All right, so we got, let's see. We got Bat here, who's a Muffalo Shaman. Whole body's malnutrition. I think they all start with that? No, not all of them. But malnutrition's fine, as long as I get to eating. I'm not a fan of chemical... I'm not a fan of drugs, so they have a chemical fascination, and they don't firefight, which is kind of crappy. They don't have anything that, like, screams out to me. Like, please select me. Uh, I'm just going to go over these guys real quick. These guys kind of suck. So we're going to end up randomizing here a whole bunch, I'll bet. Hard worker, misandrinist, and nimble. Uh, bird. He's 35 years old. 
Uh, let's just randomize again. Whoa. This guy is pretty good. Malnutrition. It's got some pain we're going to have to deal with. Doesn't do dumb labor. Oh, man. What a shame. But you know what? White here is amazing. For 37, these are some really great traits. Uh, double passion and construction, mining, animals, intellectual. Cooking is... I mean, this is a great, a great pawn. Is that what they're called? Pawns? Can't remember. Can't remember. So he doesn't do dumb labor either. Yeah. Not great. We're gonna randomize again. Sickly. That's about the worst trait you can have in Rim World, in my opinion. Tough and teeter totter. Uh, Tito Taylor. So basically, doesn't do drugs, which is cool. This is a decent guy, too. He's 47. He's tough. So that means he takes more damage before he loses consciousness and he's really good i don't like the name though i mean i can't even really pronounce that let's just name him uh let's see these are named after of colors and animals so we're gonna name this guy let's name this guy in light of his hair he's got black hair let's name him black all right we got a 15 year old dude so we got a dude we got a female all right all right all right do we have relationships with these people no okay so we will randomize a little more so we got pretty much great at everything if we can find some like five all-arounders i'd say we're on the right path here i'd say we were great memory bloodlust kind 52 meh just meh. And I don't want to take all day doing this, obviously. It's not the goal. The goal is to play the game. But sometimes this can be, like I said, the most grueling process. Finding somebody who's... I don't, like, I don't want to find someone who's amazingly perfect at every single thing. But like this guy's really... This is a female. Varia. I wish you could randomize their names. Look at her head. She got a big old head. Let's name her something else. Let's name her, uh... Uh... Let's name her something else. <laughs> what is the name gonna be? See, Bloodlust is cool because they can wear uh, clothes that came from dead people. Uh, the rest of the... Nobody likes to do that. I mean, I wouldn't personally. It depends, really. It depends on the situation. End of the world? Meh. I might not care. Might not care. Might take what I can get. So, Vera. Let's, how about this? How about this? Let's take the E out. We'll just... Vera. <clears throat> we'll do that. All right, Stew Keeper, Fast Walker, Gorman, and Slothful. Not the greatest. Not gonna lie. 35. Fast learner, bisexual. But she has asthma. She's got asthma going on. Which impacts... Impacts the efficiency of the lungs. I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah, we don't have plant, something for plants yet, do we? What a name you got going on. Right, let's randomize more. We can do this. Undergrounder, teetoler, jealous, body purist. Uh, you can't go dumb labor. <coughs> we need someone that's going to be dumb labor. Oh, okay. So gray here. Oh. He could be married to Vera. That would save us a room. That would be gray, actually. And we're going to just name him gray. Yeah. <clears throat> the game already knew what I wanted. And he's great at shooting and melee. I mean, he's got a passion for shooting and melee, so that would be great, too. He just can't do social. So at this point, I'm pretty sure no one does social, which will be... It's a pretty big deal going into 
for what? New pawns or what? So, side. Side? I can't say that word right now. I'm, I'm, I'm just give up. It's bothering me that I can't say it. But whatever. She's a warrior. Ah, oh, we're gonna skip. I'm gonna skip on her. Need somebody with social. Need somebody like, uh. Dude, this guy is 31. He's only got a bite scar, and he is phenomenal. The only thing is, he's a slow learner, greedy, and he's a wimp. Yikes. Next. Why? All these people have bite scars. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's magic. I would love to get a psychopath. <laughs> you don't hear that every day, huh? Undergrounder, iron wield, great, great cooking. Oh, it's a stew keeper. Who, who else had great cooking? Turtle. Um, undergrounder means they can be underground for longer. This guy has great cooking, but not great plants. Do we have we have plants, right? Yeah. Gray's picking up the plants here. Oh man, I kind of want this person, but. They don't have social. And we need somebody with social. A transhumanist jogger. 32 scout. Have a double passion in shooting. I mean, this is perfect. Look at the social skill. This is perfect. <clears throat> this is perfect. Don't like the name. Let's do... Uh, let's... Let's change her first name to Bush. Uh, Caterpillar. I don't like the name Bush, I lied. Crash Baby, Scout. Huh. Man, maybe I should've just left the name alone. I probably should've just left the name alone. It doesn't need to be a great, perfect name. Let's name her Purple. <coughs> her full name will be Purple Caterpillar. And that's going to be her nickname is Purple. So yeah, we're going to go with this. Right? I think that's pretty decent. <coughs> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. It's probably driving you crazy. Alright, so we got White, Black, Vera, Gray, and Purple. This ought to go well. Well, let's hope the seed is great. <clears throat> let's hope the seed is fantastic. That's really what I'm... I'm going to cross my fingers. I have the reroll uh, app. Or app. The reroll mod. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey... With no friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness like your ancestors did. All right. Right off the bat, we have a terrible dog. We have a horse, which is cool. And we have Wanda the Labrador. So that's great. Ah, this is kind of a really good start, <clears throat> if I'm being completely honest really good defensive area right here holy moly wow this is ideal plus we have tons tons or is that all mud no this is all fertile fertile uh, fertile soil wow talk much and we have a geyser right there for later on what is this we got silver right here what we get free money uh steel we got some uh, compacted machinery all over the place. Great, great, great. Yeah, this is great. <clears throat> this is absolutely... Did I say it was great already? Has anybody heard me say it was great? Because I'm thinking it, it's pretty great. Look at all those muffalo. That's, a, that's also great. <laughs> the only thing that's not great... I'm probably going to have to mine through some pathways so that I can get around the map without having to go all the way around. 
We got another geyser right there. Our tree is out there, which is which is fine. All right, I'm just getting my bearings here. Yeah, we're gonna start planning out <clears throat> our area. Is that water? There's a little bit of water there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, cool. Okay. So I got this planning... Um, planning mod I like to use. Oh, wow. We got two geysers right here. That's... Wow. So we have three, four, five... Six geysers on the map. That's pretty phenomenal, if you ask me. Um, so, allow. Unforbid all. We're going to plan. So, I like to do things a certain way. <coughs> certain way, indeed. So, the, we're not going to have any power at first, because we have no research capacity currently. Or not capacity. Well, we don't because no one can research now, right now, um, because I don't have a research table. But we don't have any research done. We have a little bit of things done. Um, but electricity is here, <clears throat> and that's gonna be a while. That's gonna be a while. So yeah, I'll just shut up and start planning. Uh, We'll see how. All right, so we're gonna have food here, right? Obviously. So I want my cooler to be close to that, where I store my food. And I want my kitchen close to that, and my butcher close to that as well. But I kind of want it centrally, maybe not centrally. Man, this probably takes the this this for me takes the longest amount of time in the game before I even hit the play button. <clears throat> so yeah, let's just start going. We'll ride with the punches. We'll roll with them. So is that? No. <clears throat> Something is clearly in my throat. All right. So, they get the food, they'll bring it in here, once we have electricity. This is 14 by 14, I believe. I don't think we'll need a support, but we might. We might need a support for the roof. Uh, one, two, three, seven. <clears throat> yeah, there's no middle there, but whatever. So a door, we'll do the kitchen here. Something like that. Kitchen's three. And we're gonna do double, double walls for insulation purposes. I don't love doing this, but it's better than, uh, usually I like to try to get it in a, in a Get a mountain or something. Don't have to worry about the infestations when it's cold. Uh, I mean, we could do that here. I mean, I would have to mine it out, which is an <clears throat> awesome. We could do that, though. Have something like this. Something like this. This is gonna be huge. Doorway. Gonna have to mine it immediately. Uh, let's see the roofs area. What is the button? Here. Okay. There might not even be overhead uh, mountain here, which will be great. We just mine out the whole thing and not worry about it falling on our heads. But that can't be the first thing we do. 
Wow, what am I doing? Okay. So if that's gonna be if that's gonna be where we store our food. I'm cool with that. I actually like that. Um we'll have the kitchen here. Do double. Hallway here. Maybe I'll have the butchery guy or the butcher just right here. Just like on the other side. Just something like that. Does that make sense to everybody? Just three, three. Doorway here, doorway there. So, maybe not there because, oh yeah, I'll put it there and I'll put that there. Yeah, this looks good. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll do the double, double or what, but we'll try it. All right, so if that's the, if that's the, we're going to store stuff in the cooler. Obviously, we're not going to have a cooler for a long time, but at least we'll have the plan. Um, the kitchen and the butcher that'll always be there and then this area will be where we grow um, what I like to do is we'll, when we get when we get there we'll get there I'll explain it later on when we get there um, Wow we have some really good defensive positions we only have two entrances into this entire area so I mean we'll be able to have like some kind of defense there some kind of defense here or just block off one or the other and our we're going to do a kill box that's for sure and I'm not sure where I like to mine it through the mountain that way if there's like an infestation people have to go through the infestation I love that love it love it unless it's a con uh, caravan or something like that envoy convoy convoy words Words are difficult for me today. All right, so we're probably going to grow something like that. Going to leave some room for a pathway. This is just rough drafts here. All rough drafts. Um, we don't want to build over this can't remember the exact specs of the building. I think it's like a seven by seven. No, that doesn't make sense. Or eight by eight. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played this enough to know everything. I mean, honestly, once you knew everything, the game wouldn't even be fun either. So, all right. So cooler growing. <clears throat> We're going to have like a table area. Let's go off. Let's do build more over here instead of over here. Cause there's a lot of mud over here. There's the geyser. I don't want to get in the way of that stuff. Plus it's closer to an entrance. There's another geyser over here. Sheesh. Can't win. Um, so let's do two away from that and do something like, this is probably going to be where we're going to sleep for now. Uh, 12 and 12, six and six. Let's do odd. Right? No. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, you clicked the video. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's a double. So yeah, I was right the first time. Sheesh. Give you a headache, huh? 13. Doorway. Doorway. That wasn't right. Doorway. I just clicked wrong. So yeah, we'll do it that way. I'm not in love with the four door idea. Because I don't like when people cut through the dining room to get over here. Or over here. But this is going to be the dining area. I think tables. Let's see. This is only a three by three. But it fits. 
It's going to be even. Score one for the OCD team. So now I'm going to build my, my houses around... Uh, this so people have like all these specs for houses and whatnot. I like to do seven. I there's efficient ways to do it, and people go crazy with min maxing, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my own form of min max. That'll make it less, or make it more enjoyable for me. I'm gonna connect them so that we can connect them with the vents. So, when we get the air going, everything will be better. So, wait a second. 13 by 13. There's 10, 11, 12, 13. And by 13, I'm just moving this building. Two, there's three in between here. I guess that's good. Okay. Three, one, two, three. Then these aren't buildings currently. This is just planning. So probably going to skip out on building right there. Because the geyser. Which is fine. Two, three. Just plan. I like to have plans set so that I have an idea of where we're going. You have an idea of where we're going. Goals. All this stuff doesn't need to be built in a day. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You ever heard that? Probably never heard that. It's probably completely unique to this channel. Absolutely. That's not sarcasm. Seven, seven, seven. All right, so now these match up, right? Bam, bam, bam. Oh, so pleasing to my OCD. All right, so there's six houses. We have five people. Houses aren't gonna be built right away. I haven't even put down the walls. This is just a rough estimate of where we're gonna be growing. Probably gonna be growing all over here, which is gonna be wonderful. Um, so yeah, we got kitchen, cooler, houses planned, we got Dining area, grow area. Where am I going to put things? That's the next thing we have to figure out. Is the stock pile. Stock pile could be something like over here. I don't hate that. Probably going to need a support here in the middle. Uh, well, door there, just cause, it's, you know, you know. Oh, we're doing, we're doing the things and the stuff. That, that, okay. Alright. So what do we start with? Nothing. We start with nothing. Zone, uh, growing zone. I'm gonna do stockpile here. Bada bang. Not even gonna build the wall right now. We're just gonna shh. Anything goes there. You know what we haven't done either? Is the work schedule, which is a uh, pretty, pretty important, I would say. But we're going to get this started all on next episode. So thank you so much for joining. If you like the content, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see future content. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.